It all began in darkness. I awoke to a world of pain. A throbbing in my head pounded on my temples. Suddenly I saw a white light approaching me. I saw a human form within that light. An angel. The shining light radiated something soothing. Eric. The angel spoke to me. Eric, it's time. The angel disappeared, and the hammering became more intense. Faster, slowly, my sight returned. A rhythm and different sounds, which slowly coalesced to become music. The darkness slowly gave way to blurry surroundings. I focused on regaining my orientation. All around me I could see people, bodies twitching, moving to the rhythm of the music. I felt sick, but at least I could move again. I needed to run some water over my head. That would do me good. stand and the nausea was getting stronger. Gathering the last of my strength, I dragged myself on. Your assignment is waiting. Eric. Eric Bain. The name shot through my head like a bullet. It was my name. Other memories. Nothing. The darkness in my head veiled everything. The angel was gone, and so was the pain. It was time to find out who I was or what I was doing here. Chances were the bouncer had seen me come in. Maybe he could shed some light on the subject. Get out of my face! We don't need an audience. Hi. Yeah? What do you want? I wanted to ask. I couldn't get another word out. The sight of his weapon woke some kind of memory. Hey. Hey, man. You okay? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'm doing fine. Did I come to the club alone, or was someone with me? No idea. My shift had only just begun. My boss was watching the door before that. Where can I find him? Well, he's sure to be hanging around here somewhere. Ask at the bar for Tom. That flashback had felt pretty damn realistic, even if I didn't completely understand it. What should I make of it? I made my way back into the club to find the head of security. Maybe he would be able to help me. Pretty, pretty. You'll have a Bloody Mary. House style. Who said I wanted a Bloody Mary? Believe me, I know exactly what you want. Do you know where Tom is? Tom? Yes, I do happen to know where Tom is. 
Head upstairs and you'll find him. Good luck. Okay, catch you later. Yes. See you later. The stuff tasted disgusting and it had a strange aftertaste. However, my body saw it differently and a pleasant warmth spread through me. Yes? Hey man, you okay? Have we met? Not directly, but don't we all know one another somehow? I mean, we're practically one big family. I have no idea what you're talking about. Shit man, you really don't know, do you? My memory is a bit foggy at the moment. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Look, we can help you, man. I mean, I know someone who can. Follow me, dude. I'll take you to her. I'm sure she'll help you. Her name's Rose, and she knows more about that stuff than the rest of us. Hey man, you were really lucky to meet me. There's some of us out there that are real bad news, dude. They would've just ripped your head off or something. Don't worry, we're almost there. By the way, Rose, she owns the sanctuary. Hi, Tom. I see you brought a guest. Nice to see you again. Was the drink okay? Hey, Rose. This dude has, like, got no idea what's happening. Can't remember a damn thing. And he's here all alone? Looks like it. Hello. I'm still here. Could you tell me what's going on? I have no idea what you're talking about. You're a... Vampire. A vampire, like Tom and me. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks for the drink. And no offense, but I'll just be going now. Tom, show him. Hey, neat trick, man. What? You automatically resorted to your vampire abilities out of pure reflex. Not bad. You seem to be a natural. Thank you, Tom.